Hey guys, it's Mac here. We're going to go over automation and looking at Photoshop today. Um, the CC 2000, Creative Cloud 2015 edition. Um, going to look at batch processing inside of Photoshop. Jump right in. Um, this is going to be selecting the action. Uh, in the, here we go in the history action palettes, uh, or you know if you need to look open the window, however you get to it, you want the actions palette. That's going to allow you the ability to record your um, all your stuff you're going to be doing. So anything you normally would do inside of Photoshop is recorded as a macro, um, which can be played back um, over and over again for image processing. Um, so here you can see I'm naming it something unique. I'm Transform Bug Shockwave Flash. This is for a Shockwave Flash set of renderings, three-dimensional object. Here I'm going to be selecting the alpha channel, um, isolating it. Um, if you continue to look down at the actions paddle, it's recording my actions. You can see them appearing. Um, and basically what I'm doing is, is I'm trying to isolate alpha, the alpha channel for transforming it to a PNG with a different image size. And I want all of that processing to be done automatically so I could just run this action, say, on a thousand photographs or a thousand different um, pieces of animation, keyframes. So uh, let's continue to record my actions. Uh, I've deleted the background, created a transparent layer. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to delete this here in a second. And we will have... Uh, uh, part of a frame, one key of the animation um, available to us uh, to be automated and all of these actions that took me this far to get here if you look down below you see that they're they're still occurring, still recording everything that I'm doing right now in that little list. And batch processing um, for computers uh, was you know introduced to it pretty young, um, extremely powerful. So here we go, um, this is the idea of saving it, um, you know, just for the purposes, I'm not going to actually save it, but you can save your documents too, here, and um, whatever you needed to save them as, and it would record that down below, but uh, I'm not going to do that, and then it will actually record the close too. So all that's really powerful, fine and dandy, and um, I'm not sure here what I'm doing next, so in the automation part, this is where you would run the batch processing after you've saved one file you would go in here to, um, I like to choose the save as, because in the case of a PNG file, it makes saves as a copy, which is terrible for sequencing. So, and then you would choose a folder where those images, in this particular case, they're in the light sedge. And uh, you would click OK, and then um, this is an example of the result in, uh, in Adobe Flash. But the idea behind it here in a second, it's going to pull up and show you... Uh, this processing at work, uh, really what I was trying to get down to. So if you look and see the animation that's unfolding, basically what has happened is I've ripped the animation apart and I've taken the three-dimensional object and I'm transforming it with 26 different Photoshop actions and a batch processing so that my workflow and time value of my own time uh, is increased dramatically because it probably would have taken me days. And uh, yeah, so that's it. I um, hope you like this video on Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud 2015 and batch automation processing. Thanks.